Hello everyone. Let's discuss this problem. Uh, this is based on esterification. Esterification is the reaction of carboxylic acid with alcohol to form an ester with loss of water. Okay. So here we have carboxylic acid and this is ethyl alcohol forming ethyl acetate. K equilibrium is 4. Okay. So what is happening basically? Carboxylic acid and alcohol are forming ester with loss of water. That is basically esterification process. Now, equation 1 is an example of an intermolecular esterification reaction. Intermolecular means between the two molecules, that is one molecule is the acetic acid and other molecule is ethanol. Equation 2, that is this one, is an example of intramolecular esterification reaction. So that is within the molecule, carboxylic acid and alcohol both are present. Okay, that is the carboxylic acid and alcohols are contained in the same starting material forming a cyclic ester that is also known as lactones as the product. The equilibrium constant for both reactions are given. We can see these are the value that is given 4 and 1000. Explain why K equilibrium difference for the two apparently similar reaction is so high. This difference is so high. Why it is happening? So listen. If we see the first molecule, the number of molecules of reactant are two. We can say acetic acid and ethanol. So number of molecules of reactant, if we see the first one, in the first one, reactants molecules are basically two and the number of molecules of products here it is ethyl acetate and water this is also two so in this case entropy change that is entropy change is more or less zero so entropy change in that will be what approximately zero or very negligible okay now in the second case if we see a single molecule it is a single starting material okay and it is forming two molecules of the product okay na? so product is the cyclic ester and water so it is basically two molecules and here reactant is only one molecule so in this case entropy change is greater than zero because product side more molecules are there so more randomness so entropy change is greater than zero it is positive entropy change now from thermodynamics we know that gives free energy change that is delta g is equal to delta h minus t delta s if entropy change is positive and high greater than zero in this case delta g will become more and more negative and due to more negative delta g the reaction will be more spontaneous so lower the value of delta g lower the value of delta g more is the spontaneous reaction so it will be more spontaneous reaction because the delta g negative uh, is having negative value and that is more negative it means it will be more a spontaneous reaction and we have relation also with the delta g and k equilibrium that the standard gives free energy change delta g naught is equal to minus rt ln k equilibrium so greater the negative value of delta g naught more is the value of k equilibrium so because of entropy change that is positive delta g naught is becoming more and more negative and due to that k equilibrium is increasing so that's the explanation here k equilibrium is 4 because entropy change is almost 0 okay and here it is greater than 0 so k equilibrium will be much higher in that Thank you.